Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see what is consistency of cement and we'll also try to understand how the consistency of cement can be determined with help of an experiment. So in a general term, if I try to speak, right? See, uh, whenever we see this place like ABD Villiers, Virat Kohli and Sangakarya, one thing that comes into in our mind is that about the consistent, right? You can see it here. They're the most consistent batsman in the ODA, right? In the same way, let me try to show another thing. You can see it here. It's written player and it's written consistency percentage. And these are the list of players who are very consistent. So one thing that should come in our mind. So what do what does what do we mean by consistency? That means every time you put this player into a match, every time they'll perform, right? Let us say at least 40 or 50 runs. Every time they come to bat, they're going to score the runs. That means we can say they're consistent, right? We say he's a very consistent batsman. We say Virat Kohli is a consistent batsman. That means for us, the word consistency is important, right? So that means every time they come, they have certain runs they're going to score. So with this logic, we'll try to see what is consistency of a cement, right? Yeah. Yeah. One thing you need to understand, you should uh, see what is the, there's something written percentage also, right? In the same way, when you try to do the test on the cement, we also need certain percentage and we'll try to understand that, right? Yeah. So what is this consistency? So in the civil engineering language, whenever you say consistency denotes the moisture content for us, right? First point. The second is that, give me a minute. Yeah. The second is that next standard consistency is a moisture content in the standard condition. You know, whatever in the standard condition, condition you're going to measure the moisture content so that is called as standard consistency so there was a person or there was a scientist called as wicked he actually told that according to wicked whatever moisture content we are going to get at a standard temperature at a standard condition is called as standard consistency so we'll try to see what is this wicked apparatus so with with his help with the help of his name uh, the instrument was uh, given a name called as wicket apparatus and with that apparatus we try to find the consistency of a cement we'll try to see that so now the main question that comes in our mind why this consistency of the cement has to be checked or why the test has to be performed so this whatever moisture content say ultimately we are going to find the moisture content of the cement so this moisture content will help me to choose the water content for the other test like the setting time of a cement the strength test and the sound soundness test so we need to understand what is the consistency of a cement so that whatever percentage we are going to get that will help us in determining the moisture content for the other test like the setting time of a cement the strength test and the soundness test so we'll try to see how the experiment is to be carried out. Yeah, so this is how that uh, equipment is going to look or instrument is going to look. So this is called as wicket apparatus, right? So you'll have a mold here. So the height of this mold is 40 mm and you have a small pin. This is called as plunger. So this plunger is uh, 50 mm in uh, length and the diameter is 10 mm. So this is how it's going to look and you'll be having the readings on this particular uh, scale. So we'll also try to see that. So we'll try to see the procedure of that, how this uh, test has to be performed. So this is another you know, view of that. Again, it's the same thing. We have a mold here. This is a needle A, which is one mm square. We have a base plate of a mold and this is a mold what we have, where we are going to fill the cement paste into that. And this is a scale what we have. And this rod, what you have, no, this you can move it up, right? Whenever you want to release that, you have to take it up. And from here, we are going to release and we'll try to see how it is going to function. Yeah. So coming to the test of this, how it has to be done. First is aim, aim is to determine the normal consistency of a given cement sample. What all apparatus is required for us? First is the wicket apparatus with a wicket plunger. Then we require a wicket mold. Then we require gauging travel. Then we require a measuring jar, a weighing balance and a glass plate, right? Yeah. So coming to the theory, it's written here. Normal consistency is defined as the amount of water that is a moisture required to convert a dry cement into paste. So it is expressed as a percentage water by weight of cement. The normal consistency helps in determining the water required to be mixed with the cement 
for the test like setting time the strength test and the other different test what we have so how do you begin with this so it's a very simple procedure what we have to do initially we have to take around a, a sample of uh, cement uh, weighing around 300 gram and this is not required forget about this yeah and with a trial percentage of water of 28 percent by weight of cement so this 28 percent you need not add from 28 only it varies from 25 to 35 so what you can do is you can start from 25 also or you can start from 26 27 or 28 but here it is mentioned at 28 percent it's up to you to decide what you want right yeah so with a trial percentage of water has 28 percent by weight of cement so the paste so prepared will be filled in the mold completely and the air is expelled from the cement by by gently tapping the mold so once the cement whatever paste we have made it ready with the help of this water content of 28 percent you have to fill that into the mold what we have seen the mold is placed at the bottom of the wicket apparatus which is attached with the plunger to test the depth of the penetration the plunger is brought to the surface of the cement paste centrally and plunger is released to sink into the cement pitch and the depth of the penetration is noted so what we are going to do uh, let us say this is a mold what i have i'll show you all these things right this is a mold what you have and uh, once it is filled with the cement pitch the plunger what we have the wicket apparatus we have a plunger we are going to release that plunger so we are going to release the plunger so what will happen it will try to penetrate this particular cement pitch so initially we have added little water right so the mix, the cement paste, what we have, it will be in a harsh condition. That is, that is, it will be in a dry condition. So what do I mean dry? That means it will, uh, it will be very tough for the plunger to penetrate to that because the water content is less. So that is why it is written here. The test is repeated for the higher percentage of water. Let us say if you started with 28. After 28, if the plunger is not able to penetrate, now how much it has to penetrate that I'll be explaining here. So if it is not able to penetrate, then again, we'll try to increase the percentage of water from 28 to 30, 32, 32, 33, and so on. So till the plunger penetrates at a depth of five to seven mm from the bottom of the scale, that means you'll be having a reading here. And once it start to penetrate here, it has to go up to five to seven mm. And that five to seven mm, you can see it on the scale. The moment it reaches five to seven mm, the water water added corresponding to that is a, percentage of water that is required for the normal consistency. So the percentage water by weight of cement at the required penetration is called as normal consistency, right? So we'll try to see this in a more better way again. So once that is done, this is how the observation will be. So let us say you started with 28% of water, you got the penetration of 35 mm, okay? Then again, you started to add 32, from there you increase the water from 28 to 32%. That is you have increased by four percentage. You got a penetration of 15 mm, that is from the bottom. Again, you added water at uh, 35 percentage. Finally, you got that the reading as seven mm. So this reading, what we have to get now, it has to range from five to seven mm. That is five, six or seven if we get that corresponding water what we are going to get that is called as normal consistency so for seven the corresponding water content is 35 so it's written here normal consistency is 35 percent so this is how it's going to look totally so if you see that so this is a wicket mold we have prepared a cement paste here right so let us say you started from 28 percent then 30 32 and all you're filled into the mold and after that once you fill that into the mold what you're going to do you're going to keep it here and this is a plunger what you have okay and you have to release it here so it will try to penetrate so first initially it will not try to penetrate completely because the water content will be less as the water content increases this cement paste will have enough moisture so that what will happen the plunger will try to penetrate the moment it will try to penetrate we get a reading here and whenever the reading come corresponding to 5 to 7 mm so that percentage of water corresponding to 5 to 7 mm is my normal consistency. Yeah. So you can see it here. This is how it looks. And finally, you can see it here. Uh, you can see the reading here. Let me play this again. Yeah. So it is written here, 40 mm. Okay. Then we have 30 here. Then we have 20 here, 10, and it's not from zero. So let us say you added water here. Okay and it will start to, will release this. We have to put this particular pin to this. Okay, and then you have to uh, tighten it. And then you will try to release it. The moment this reading, you know, this is 
how it is this this is a plunger it will try to penetrate then this will try to move up and down so the moment it comes here let us say this is somewhere yeah this is zero this is fine now so whenever it comes somewhere here no, in between this and this when it comes here the water what is corresponding to that is my normal consistency so in this way you have to carry out this particular test so this test will help us in uh, finding the moisture content that is required for the upcoming uh, test that like uh, strength test that is a compressive strength test a setting time test and all right yeah so i hope uh, these things are understood up to here in the next lecture we'll try to see few other tests that is required and we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you